Hello and good evening everyone. Welcome back to the Logitech Play to Win Series Season for the Baron Cotton Tournament Division B matches. We do have a treat for y'all. We do have the match between uh, Zeg FE taking on the United Noobs. Uh, I was taking a look at the ranks uh, across the board. I, I think this might be a really even game between the two teams. We'll have to wait and see. And of course a massive shout out to Logitech for coming in clutch having the tournament for the fourth season. Then of course now the second or the third quarter. I have lost count. So many tournaments by Logitech. Uh, they have been doing absolutely an amazing job. And he, uh, likewise for this uh, quarterly tournament also there's 130,000 rupees in prize money uh, for this Division A and Division B as well. So a lot of money on offer for all these uh, Valorant Esports athletes out there. Uh, having said that, uh, we do have our favorite cast joining us. Uh, uh, we have might uh, oh, I'm not sure. Wait, uh, let me uh, see. Might are you there? Yeah, I'm there. Yeah, I'm here. Okay, for some reason. Can you I not see me? Not see you. Hopefully, the, I can fix that uh, shortly. But uh, until then, uh, what do you think about the two rosters? I'll have it on screen right now. Uh, let's get. I think the game is also uh, ready to be started. Uh, yeah, so the roster, as you all can see on screen, we do have uh, Zeg FE taking on uh, United Noobs. And um, yeah, what do you think about the matchup, Mike? Well, I mean, this is of uh, this is obviously one of the more anticipated matches in the tournament because this would be uh, probably one of the first appearances of Zeg, uh, the female roster as well. Which yeah. I mean, I I'm I'm excited to see them play. I, I'm uh, and against United Noobs. I mean, um, both these teams. I haven't seen them play yet. I would love to see them uh, perform. Obviously, I mean, as as Tara said earlier as well, uh, rank wise, I mean, these uh, two teams seem very very equal. So we will have a good matchup by the looks of it. Uh, yeah, uh, let's uh, directly go into the agent select. Let's have a look at what these. Uh, what everyone is playing. So on the side of, uh, we have Zeg FE picking up uh, the Killjoy. Very good uh, agent to pick up on split, uh, especially in holding down. I think B side, uh, very strong. Uh, KJ is extremely strong on B side. And then we have uh, Mr. Detective uh, having not locked in. Uh, but yeah, we do see a Reyna. We do see a Sage again. Uh, very good agent to hold off mid. And then on the side of uh, defenders, we have... Uh, the Omen uh, with Rays, uh, extremely good duelist on split. And uh, we do see Tihi also picking up Rays on the side of uh, Zeg FE. I think Rays is uh, one of the better duelists uh, on uh, split for sure. And we do see a Breach. I absolutely love seeing Breach on split. <laughs> Again, something interesting. Interesting. Something interesting that I have to point out here is that uh, a single duelist lineup on the defending side. And they've gone for a raise again. That's a good decision to go for a to go for a single to his lineup, especially on split, and to select raise. It's it's a good decision because raise can you know there's a lot of things that raise can do in uh, split that a lot of other uh, other uh, agents cannot. But on the side of uh, Zeg F, we we all we have uh, a double to his lineup again. We have Reina and Raze. These two are probably the most. Uh, Constantly use duelist if not if it's not, if not it's Jet and Reina if or it's uh, Reza and Reina, and uh, we okay, a brimstone, a brimstone though that's that's where I'm uh, interested in again. Uh, brimstone is extremely good on bind on split. He's okay. I I won't say he's top tier on split, but he's okay. He for a person who knows how to use that uh, molly and the sky smokes, the executes are extremely powerful and also remember the fact that the uh, sky smokes stay for 20 seconds and unlike the omen uh, smoke the dark cover stays only for 15 seconds, the assassin gonna boost the fault line, actually not gonna get the uh, tag onto the players but they're because of the um, boom bot but a nice uh, Ash might line up, he might actually be able to blind the race to the side, he gets the first pick, yes, he doesn't get the second, but uh, Fluff says that to trade mod. Murdoch though on the stage can take two kills, Keyboard hero is on side. This is on split which he doesn't uh, have a chance to get a heal. Hitman is sell on the cipher, just walking in, taking two kills, and that's the first round going for the side of United Noobs. Oh, very, Again, um, around taken very convincingly. Uh, like, like, I think the mistake there was uh, they tried to take control of the side. I think they didn't take ramps control very well. I think that uh, made them lose, and then. Uh, after that, uh, like you said, having that single duelist lineup on the defense, and especially with someone like a Breach who acts yeah. as his own duelist, I feel yeah. like Breach can be uh, a type of a duelist, even though he's uh, more of an initiator where you blind and you get your duelist to pick you through, he can do the same thing for himself, especially with the fault line. 
And we saw it in that round. He managed to hold off uh, a site for quite some time. It, 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 it was all an assassin for that holding that uh, a site uh, because like that, that flash point, it blinded three players trying to come in, and that gave enough uh, ability for the players to come in. And the side spike. Look at this cyber setup on the B side. The spike camp uh, get, grabbing information of three players pushing in, and it's gonna push away the B uh, B rush. Which means, uh, okay, look at the rain, though. Look at the rain on the side of. Uh, with the attack, she's already going through sewers. Look at the amount of space she has taken. If she is able to get a, if if Miss Detective is able to get in, get into ramps without any contest whatsoever, this round could turn massively. But it's all out of assassin. Assassins holding up mid. The A push is happening. Look at Miss Detective. She's already on A side. She has taken control. Yeah, we do see uh, total air control right now by uh, the Zegefi team. Uh, the defense is totally unaware that this is happening. I think it is, has been a good pick, and we do see Miss Detective pushing uh, towards the spawn left. here and taking ramp control now. She does uh, hear uh, the she has, uh, yeah, she has, she has the yeah. player coming onto ramps. That's going to be information relayed, oh. and she's going to get peaked by two players. It's so unfortunate, but look at the race's position. Look at look at the he, but he can only get one as assassin trades him out. Medusa on site. Can the killjoy do something here? The double satchel is gonna get uh, the race Last right inside this. She's gonna take kills. Hitman is still with two kills on the round. Again, Hitman on these uh, post plants have been really good. The man's been coming and taking two kills and just finishing off the round. Uh, I think but, uh, uh, well, the takeaway from this is that Zekiafi did manage to get the plant down uh, on a save round. Uh, they were on a full serve, so this is going to allow them to have a really decent economy going into this uh, third round, which is going to be their full buy round, as you can see. We have five Vandals picked up uh, against the five... Uh, by the Phantoms! Five Let's go! Let's the go! Phantoms Phantom versus, versus Vandals! Vandals Let's five. go! Oh, no, no, no. no. <laughs> we have one switch up. Uh, Hima but, went in uh, for a Phantom. Kera, the, 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 the thing is, yes. do you notice the round, the round before? Team United Noobs choose not there. to buy up. They didn't buy up for the SMGs like we usually see from the team that wins the pistol round. So yeah. technically, this is also this is their buy round as well. So this is basically a buy round for both teams, the, because the it was uh, he, yeah, it, it's it's because United Noobs did not uh, go for the quick buy as Medusa gets the first pick onto Tasty. That is unfortunate. The spy comes gonna get information, but um. Assassin, waiting for someone to make moving on the brimstone mobs. The sky smoke in the back and the nano storm as well. But Murdoch gets oh. one, but he gets the He does this. The detective uh, stops it. Hitman still takes one kill, but he gets raided by Medusa there. The uh, site has been taken. It's a 3v2 advantage on the side of the attackers. Detective has a good. Has, it, he has a good position. But uh, it's all down oh, to the opening and the. Flick. Oh, what a flick. What a flick. <laughs> keyboard, keyboard hero. He was just one bullet away from being the gunfight. Oh, but no, Detective no, no. is feeling herself. And that's the arena for you taking three kills on the round. Completely vanquishing her opponents. And that's what you want. That's what you want from Arena. That's what that's the confidence. That's the confidence boost. That flick onto the woman. Insane. That's gonna make you feel good. Yeah, that is for sure. I, I think that kill itself is going to give the confidence that uh, I think Dolis is all about uh, confidence, right? You need to have uh, good confidence to take control of sides, and definitely after that kill, Mr. Director is going to be having the confidence required to, you know, get into sight. And uh, on the uh, defending side, it was now they are on a full save. They did win the uh, first two rounds, but uh, they lost the third so uh they are on a save now against the full buy on the side of uh zeggy sports again they're going right to hitman as the site as <laughs> the cyphers there with the that bucket is. and he's gonna jump out trying to escape nano storm but that's not gonna work out as hima gets the first pick and uh it's out of this stage side this he doesn't want to peek here the stage wall is gonna go up the usual one which covers up the information the boom bot gets destroyed detective gets a kill on assassin yeah, this round's almost done, done and done. Medusa gets a kill on Murdoch. This, this, yeah. This, unless there's like a complete miraculous uh, recovery here by the rays on site, there's nothing that's gonna happen. As this, you almost missed the shot. He lost him, but he jumps out of the sky smoke, gets the final kill, and gets down to keyboard hero with a classic and a dream on a one v four. I'm not sure whether these dreams are very realistic. 
strange <laughs> that we missed the park and uh, he wouldn't actually get that kill. <laughs> it is he did not expect him to see us. He was actually equipping the uh, gun on oh! the way. But, oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! He really good damage on a save round, to be honest, and yeah, might able, yeah. uh, be able to get a few more. I don't think he has time to get the diffuse off and see Medusa, but there's not uh, Medusa. Medusa's like, you know what? Yeah, that's that's enough excitement. We can stop this now. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but that's then again, uh, Keyboard Hero, those two though. kills, those two kills, was, they did a lot. He did a lot of damage. That's going to be have to be. Yeah, I mean, look at that. Hima has to invest on to half shields to get that. Uh, Hima uh, can actually go for a full shield and request from um, uh, Flopster. Flopster. Yeah, because she does have 5,500 saved up in the bank and is able to buy uh, at least two different people, right? So I think uh, Hima should be uh, doing this, asking for full shield, but does not seem to be happening. Well, we are going to be seeing a B push in here. Yeah, Q gets the first pick onto Murdoch again. This is what I said. When your Reyna is feeling good, she is feeling good. And that's the Empress popped as well. Okay, Reyna on an Empress. Terror, 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 terror. Got one, uh, just one. <laughs> she got one, she got one. There's four more remaining. Four players remaining. She's not aggressing, but the Dark Cover is going to keep them at bay for now. Again, not interesting moments, Mook Kid. Not the usual one you see, which covers up the entirety of me. It covers the half area into the vents, which uh, the The downside is off. that uh, Miss Derative actually didn't get an overheal off of the kill, so she mm -hmm. stacked down pretty hard. And the Empress uh, wears off, so that's the ultimate completely uh, rendered useless. But look, look, look at oh, she made the noise. Assassin, and Assassin gets the, the first angle. pick. That's nice. That's a good hold off vents, and Assassin is still holding the same angle. He does have the rolling thunder as well. That will charge on his rolling thunder. And he's gonna go for the fault line into the heaven area, which is gonna stun up two players, and that's gonna give info that's gonna give information to Hitman as he hears two players running up. Dehi gets the pick onto the opposing laser. Three v four. Spikes not spikes actually going down now. Spike planted. They do have the rolling thunder. The rolling thunder can be huge if they clear Medusa's position. Assassin has to flash. Doesn't really decide to use it as he just go for the drive pick, and Hima is there to punish him for that. Okay, the orbital strike is invested by Hima as well to clear out heaven again. Not sure whether that was the that was a required investment because orbital strike can be really useful on post plan situations, but to use that on a round where the opponents are probably gonna go for a save. Not sure whether that was the correct play, but keyboard hero is stuck here. The one when. Yeah, he is. Uh, he looks like he is gonna save. Seems like a good decision as well. Yeah, and he is going to be able to successfully get the uh, save. Now it's three to two in favor of uh, Zeggy Sports here. Uh, going into round number six, uh, might see another full gun round. I think. Uh, or are they on a save? We do see a half buy. We see half shield specters. And what is Hitman is going for? I think he's full saving. Uh, no, everyone's going for a full save. No, Aries. Hitman actually Aries. goes for the Aries and the half shields again. A good decision. I, I think on a cipher with when he has good setups, the, the, the Aries is a really good weapon. I mean, I because like the amount of spam you the amount of spam kills I've gotten through cyber cages when I'm playing cipher is insane because of how good uh, you know the cyber cage is. Because it gives you information whether there's someone inside the cage. And that's going to be the uh, boom bot taken down by Assassin. That's information of a player playing back inside the Rolling Thunder. You should run. He has the Rolling Thunder. He could decide to use it here, but the attacker kills your lockdown. He's going to push them away. The smoke actually, op opposing smoke actually helps uh, Assassin to get himself safely tucked into a corner in screens. So he might actually going to take down Keyboard Hero. This round is not looking too good as the detective with the wall bang onto Assassin. And Hitman is just... Little AFK by the looks of it in the back yeah, of his side. I think uh, DC would uh, he yeah, has he... uh, DC uh, which is uh, sad. I think he just reconnected back, but it is going to be a two v five retake if they do want to go for this. One and as I say, uh, DC <laughs> take down Mr. Detective <laughs> of the wall. But uh, yeah, things are not looking too good for the side United noobs. Cypher is going to be saving this uh, Ares. I don't know whether that's save worthy, but uh, he does have money to buy if he does die. But uh, nevertheless, he is going to be saving. No more charges left. He's probably going to try and buy up one of his teammates in the next round. But um, again, four rounds in for uh, Zeg. 
FE. They are doing very well for themselves. Miss Directiv sitting on 7 kills and Medusa are sitting on 5. They are doing pretty well for themselves uh, and uh, we do need uh, the defending side uh, United Nooms to uh, step it up right now. Uh, it was unfortunate that uh, we did see a disconnect on uh, the Cypher in the previous round. Hopefully that won't happen again and they will be able to uh, continue uh, uh, with the gameplay without having any disruptions. Now, something, uh, one thing that I want to point out here too is that uh, they have four ultimates on the side of the defense. On the side of United Nooms, they have four ultimates. And Keyboard Hero is only one uh, charge away from the from, from, from shadows. This could be huge if they can use all these ultimates to get that first uh, momentum shift. But uh, the Showstopper can be actually, I mean, they do have a cipher, they could go for some aggressive information and try to use a to clear out space. But look at this, detective is already in uh, Vents and Medusa, the, the trap the trap guy is going to give them information as to where they are, that it's, they're already in, they're already in mail. Yeah, this is the thing, this, this is the thing, I think our defense need to uh, put, oh my lord, they just cleared out Haven completely. Yeah. And there is not playing dividends for Hitman SL. It's down to Keyboard Hero again. And uh, Dishti, Dishti gets a kill with uh, the Showstopper, although he gets traded before. Uh, I mean, Keyboard Hero does have the from the shadows, but it's not the most impactful like, when it comes to class situations like this. He does have a dark cover and two solid steps, but uh, he's gonna get spammed down. The volley actually is uh, spat on there by uh, Hina. Gives, uh, Hima gives him enough uh, time. To make sort of peak from the back again yeah. the defense needs to be able to hold this uh, mid area which they haven't been doing i think uh, mid on split is extremely important to hold down and they're losing mid control and it's hurting them uh, very significantly uh, especially because uh, miss objective has been able to get control of this uh, haven uh, area at b quite easily as well as vents and there is no way that the defense uh, are able to hold this off they're losing the gun battles at mid and no one is uh, basically uh, reinforcing it afterwards and they're getting complete mid control but right now we do see the sage trying to wall it off which is good Again, something that a lot of people like to do is that um, in, like, they give up mid in split, but they hold extremes. Like they they have two players inside, they have one, they have like three players in B side, and two players in the back of A side. But that's not what's going on in the uh, camp of United Dooms. They seem to be fighting uh, very Same close to down. heaven and very close to the side, very close to the entry to into mid. Especially, you know, in these male areas and the A Haven areas. So because of that, they do not have side control and they do not have mid control. So instead of, uh, so I mean, they have to take a decision whether they are going to hold sides or they are going to hold mid. This uh, lack of it is indecision is really killing them. And uh, assassin with the interesting reposition, he positions himself inside the wind and gets himself a kill. Detective weaves the shot on the keyboard hero. That's a gun recovered for him as well. And that's going to be a three v five already. Keyboard. Hero. See, I think uh, they had the read this time around. They had a better hold. Oh, meanwhile. Look at his position. He could go heal. He takes two kills. That's, oh, that is so huge. That, that's spray control on the ghost. It's just to take two kills. Just That's four headshots, to be honest. And he gets that. He might just have his high smoke, but he does not have uh, any HP left as keyboard hero takes him down. Again, something want to. Some, that round. What the difference they did there was they were proactive on the defense. They took uh, space. They, they 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 did not let someone take control of vents. They were proactive. They fought mid instead of letting uh, you know instead of letting them come into male scot free. And that's why they, it seemed as though all of a sudden Zek Effie was stuck in mid with three players not having nowhere to go. I think that, uh, the way, way that the defense played that round, I think that is the way to play. They had three at A, one at Wentz uh, from the three that were at A, a because Cypher is obviously playing at B. Mm. And uh, no, no, they had it the other way around actually. They had the raise also at B. I think what they should have done is have the raise at A because if Zek decided to push A, they would have been at a loss because one was at Wentz and one is at Sight and no one to hold ramps. And uh, that, that is definitely going to be a bit of an issue if that did happen. And again, we do see them there. But no. meanwhile, while I say that, Tihi managed to take down Hitman and oh, no. Profster takes down Assassin. Profster while he turns takes back. down Assassin, trying to run into sight. But the fake has worked. That's going to be the rotations taken in. And 
Yeah, it's it's already going to be a retake, and Murdoch actually gets taken. You get to try to aggress a little too much, takes him down. It's a two v two. It's a two v three on site actually because the two players are still rotating in from spawn, but they're not gonna uh, aggress off where his keyboard here positions himself. Goes corner, doesn't get the pick as he gets taken down. That's a two v four retake situation now, and um, the resurrect. I mean. The Sage does have a resurrection, but I don't think that's the best uh, ultimate to be in. Just with a kill off of Pinch, does this double satchel onto side. Like no, he rips. Oh, that is so unfortunate. If he did get that kill, that would have been huge because both players were stuck in a main, which means he could have had one player uh, try to fight off these two people, try to push him with uh, aggression, and one player could have stuck the defuse. But that doesn't happen. I mean, the idea was there, but then the shots not hitting really just put a span in the nails for them. Again, this uh, cipher setup on B, I think what uh, Sitman itself should be trying to do is try to change it up, try to, uh, you know, use those traps a little more deep, use those traps a little more interesting, because look at that, this boom bot takes that, uh, completely nullifies that trip. And uh, they're uh, pre-firing the second trip as well, which is uh, not something that the Cypher, if you're a Cypher player, you really want to see. The tensions are good, but it doesn't really do much, but Hitman is still gonna get the first pick. <sighs> They can go for a quick plant. Medusa gets the kill out of Hitman's cell, and that's gonna be the free. That's gonna be a plant secure. Oh, nice, nice shots here by Tehi as he gets the pick onto Murdoch. Dish is there, but Dish gets straight, traded out. It's a 2v4. I mean, okay, the assassin has had his rolling thunder for quite long, and I'm not sure whether. I mean, he should be using his rolling thunder right now because. That, there won't be a perfect situation to use your ult unless you create that perfect situation yourself. And the Rolling Thunder can actually be one of the change makers. But uh, again, as I say that, both of them get taken down. It's three three people survive on the side of Team Zig Fe. Okay. This Rolling Thunder, they're trying. Uh, I'm not sure why they aren't using it. It's probably one of the more impactful ults in the game because it completely uh, cripples the ability of the enemies to shoot back at you with uh, pinpoint accuracy. Uh, they should. I mean, what I okay. So these are my personal thoughts on the Rolling Thunder. What they should be doing is they should, since they are losing on these post plant uh, lineups. Use the rolling thunder at the start of the round and try to get space. So like, if if assassin is gonna use the rolling thunder right here in front of A main, it would stun all five players pushing into A main, and that would give them free, this is completely free uh, reign of uh, kills for them to take. But look at this T, he's already in heaven and already taken a kill. Keyboard hero tra trades him out. And Peter Kill is gonna go searching as well. The flashpoint is good. Assassin gets a kill onto him as Jack gets keyboard hero in the meantime. And they have Stop. technically, they still don't have ramps control. Meanwhile, uh, on Haven, oh, the they lose. The shop gets a kill on to Detective. As the DST also gets a kill on to Medusa. It's a 1v2. Do they know where Fluffs is? Fluffs has the positioning, but they still checks him, and that's the fourth round going for the side of defense. Again, I. Last round in where the was half. Detective when that aftershock kill happened? Uh, I, Detective I, was uh, at Haven, uh, actually ramps, uh, and he got taken out by uh, the defending uh, team that was pushing ramps. It was, I think, Assassin and Hitman who was uh, at ramps was able to uh, clean up the kill on uh, Miss Detective there. That was actually a really well placed aftershock, to be honest, because like here. I haven't seen aftershocks. Just uh, you know, like getting an aftershock kill is probably one of the best feelings when you're playing Breach. It's like you know what, like you, like, you know in your mind, like you outplayed your opponent, like you found him in a spot where they cannot uh, escape. But that's the lockdown investor on the B side. This is gonna be a full rush. Look at this, a sage wall. The snow orb is gonna stop them from going for an aggressive push. Nano storms to clear the back of side. They're gonna take. Uh, they're gonna take side free of. Uh, Without any problems whatsoever, detective. I would like to see the rolling thunder used now. Yeah, they're going to use it to try and cancel the plan. But it's not. The timing is off, and the ultimate on this kill is just getting killed. But wait, what is happening? How? How was the race inside? Side was this team inside? This team was inside. Why two other players were just shooting at heaven? 
And, and it's funny with this, you also gift his, uh, gift her his entire ultimate as well. But, um, but man, like how like the enemy team like the Z <laughs> did not realize that Dishti was inside the site for such a long time until Miss Directive actually cleared out CT and then actually looked towards the spawn site only he realized that uh, Dishti was inside the site. Until then <laughs> they were absolutely clueless. <laughs> they were like, you know, okay, I can, hear I can I can hear bullets. I can I can hear bullets. Where are they coming from? <laughs> oh, 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 bullets? What? <laughs> but it's now going to be the um, Zeg Fe on the defense. The cycle trip. We have a push from the United Noobs going towards uh, a site here. Uh, the very fast push, the blind is going to be there. The oh, 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 the incendiary and. Look Not at that. Like the this. combination. The combination of utility. The boom bot, the high smoke, the incendiary, and the pot shots through the smoke gets them back. Just cleans up the Rams push. The, you you have to realize running through a brave molly the incendiary it's not a safe bet it's not like a phoenix molly where you can just run over it the brimstone molly does a significant amount of damage and and because they were inside the sky smoke as well they stopped they stopped before pushing on to ramps waiting for assassin to flash into uh, ramps but it was during this time the molly landed damaging quite a bit of players which is why the boombot was able to get a kill. And the incendiary itself got a kill. And the detective spam through the smoke got them two kills because the players were so low by the time they got into ramps. Right, it's now, gonna again, be it's a going to be an A hit. Uh, we do see Assassin moving towards this uh, ramp side. And the boombot. No, no. Oh, no. It tacks no, out no, two no, players, no. but the nade cleans up Hitman as well. The raised utility on the United side of the moves. United Noobs. <laughs> it's just it's it's just it's not guns it's not aim tools that's ruining them it's utility from the race and this is uh, detective, uh, detective with the uh there is it's just padding away keyboard hero trying to go for the ghost shots he actually gets a kill on today going out but, uh, get no uh Manages to get himself a weapon. He's going to pick him up, but no, no, him out with the he suspends him down, and it miss detective gets the final pick. It's down to assassin with 30 HP, and there's a nano swarm right by him. Nano swarm right by him. He's not going to care about. He's going to go for plant. Actually, gets the plant down. That's that's 300 credits. That's actually a lot of money recovered, which means he will. Uh, I mean, if he can do, if he can get like two kills, at least one kill here, it would be all worth it. But detective knows, detective knows, but detective has the layer in hand, but Medusa's there they are to save, uh, so they are to save detective's life, and that's gonna be the ninth round going for the side of Team Zeg FA. Again, I'm loving the utility usage from yeah. this uh, team, I mean, especially from Zeg FA. They are playing around the brimstone really well, so like, like interest, uh, something I want to point out there is that they put the sky smoke and it's through the sky smoke that the nade comes it's through the sky smoke that the boom bot comes so the pain shells and the boom bot the, the attacking team can hear it coming but they do not see it coming it all just appears out of nowhere like a random ghost from some um, cemetery just jumps at you through the sky smoke and that's why it's so powerful the sky smoke is the visibility inside the sky smoke is very different to that with that of uh, you know something inside a dark cover and uh, again Terra with the uh, uh, extreme camera work. The center is going into markets here. You see, doing a little bit of damage. Uh, yeah. They're playing a little bit more divided now. Playing for that mid control, which is uh, needed for sure. Camera. Keep my Excel. Doesn't get any information there. And he's gonna clear out the front of sight. But he'll join the own assassin. Oh, gets the big that's really good because now there's no utility inside to defend this. And they, they faked it. And majority of them are at Haven now. They need to be careful. The plant is going to go down. We do see Zek pushing in. And meanwhile, Fluster get a kill on the keyboard hero and the wall bank. But not going to be good enough for Dishti. Takes out Fluster and meanwhile, he takes out assassins. Are going oh to be no, Hitman! Hitman gets caught looking at the camera. One enemy and he gets a kill. And but this is a pretty much but oh my god that came a little too close a little too close for comfort now and you have to realize that was the 
buy round for uh, team United Noobs and they uh, four of them died four of them yeah. died which means that's going to be a huge reinvestment yeah it is definitely a huge reinvestment as you can see we have three people on half shields and two people on half shields on the side of Zeg so I, I think uh, again uh, it's going to be a rough round for uh, Zeg, if they can't hold this just because of that singular spectre that they do have, and again, I think uh, United Noobs are doing the right thing, they are playing for this mid control, which is very much needed. Again, Hima with a nice smoke uh, blocking that entry uh, into mid. Again, Assassin does have the rolling thunder up his sleeve. We this could be very, very uh, imperative when it when if they are going for a push into the A site. The fake onto the orb doesn't uh, manage to get a peek off it, but this she gets a kill onto uh, Miss Detective. That's gonna open up. Uh, that actually, that's the flank. They stop the flank from coming, and this is going to pull rotations because now they know that ASI is pretty much free. But I love this positioning from the defensive sage. But this is gonna walk into vents. No one's checking this day. This she could catch him our pants down. <sighs> Yes, uh, yeah, and he does. He must just checking heaven. I'm not sure why no one was checking him as wins uh, because I mean you had T he checking uh, C taking A in, but uh, both of them get caught watching the same angle, and uh, that's gonna be a plan down. And that this is pro and this looks very very good for the side of United Group as long as they don't over aggress and uh, <laughs> lose this round. As Assassin with a nice kill onto Fluffs uh, again. Assassin has been guarding wins with his life, man. You're on defense. Like, th th this man didn't let anyone get into the vents. And even on, he's doing the same thing on attack as well. But it's not two players on the side of uh, Team Zeg FV. Try and recover this, but it seems as if they can try and uh, show stopper doesn't get a kill. But uh, Mendoza is able to trade. Mendoza gets two kills, but keyboard hero stops all that nonsense. And that's that's a decent amount of damage now. regardless of uh, being done, but again. Uh, losing consecutive rounds and uh, now Zeg is in a lot of trouble here no money at all no eco to buy uh, buy up and it's going to be a save round for them whereas uh, United Noobs are very happy with their performance during attack they are making a comeback here 6 to 10 uh, can Zeg hold on is the question can uh, United Noobs uh, push it through uh, and win the game I mean they need to win uh, quite a bit of more rounds there is a four round gap here that they need to close down up in mid doesn't actually stop sweeper from pushing in that's a good uh, okay. the thing with placing the sage wall in mid like that is that it loses all viability in uh when people are just gonna spam it uh, at the very start of the round because like the sage wall in mid is almost uh a staple when it comes to sage plays, but he was actually gonna get stunned by the fault line. So do you see anything? Have assassin has two flash points. Oh, the boom! But actually, uh, attacks down him onto quite a lot of HP. Assassin decides not to use the flash point to chase after him. Fluff says there. Fluff wants to get the kill, but Fluff actually gets the kill. Assassin whiffing all the whiffing the entire spray onto Fluff as this is done trading out. Hima might be able to do something, but no, Hima takes the game and down by this day. And Stickman SL is gonna get the spray onto the blue sets down to 2v4. The detective gets a kill. Last player standing. But Keyboard Hero trades him out. It's down to a 1v3. And uh, Jackie has, uh, has a phantom. He's straight up to a phantom from the uh, areas he had, but Murdoch uh, is gonna stop. He's gonna stop to all that. And uh, that's gonna be the seventh round for them. Consecutive to two consecutive rounds, and uh, this could be the could this be the momentum shift they were looking for? Yeah, seems like definitely is seven to ten now closing that gap. Uh, now this is going to be another full gun round for both teams. Uh, uh, obviously, uh, United Noobs are having the eco to buy up for a couple of rounds, and Zeg if they really need to uh, win this. If they don't win this round, they are guaranteed to lose the next two rounds unless they pull something off their. Uh, yes. <laughs> Of their head because right now if they don't win this they won't have eco for the next uh, couple of rounds again we do see mid control being taken by a uh, united nodes which yeah, is really is. important in split for sure that's an interesting uh, combination that the safe flow and the uh, boom then the pain shells that would uh, obviously right catch, catch at least one play if they had already pushed up but they haven't 
United Dooms are playing this slow, they are waiting. They, they realize the chill kill the armor on the side of uh, Zeg FE is the lack of mid control because they put a heavy emphasis on taking mid control through the use of this Sage Wall. But the Sage Wall gets taken down, but Zeg uh, misdetected is there to stop uh, any, any more aggression as the Empress is popped by her. As well, he gets a kill onto Keyboard Hero and it's down to a 3v5 already and they haven't covered any space whatsoever. Yeah, this is definitely not looking good for United Noobs having already lost 3 and they haven't even got into sight yet. Which is uh, going yes, to be hurting they're actually them gonna while decide I to go for a save by the looks of it. Again, a good decision. They're not really hot on money. 30 so, seconds uh, left. Decided to save would be a better decision because this you also got caught in mid trying to aggress. Actually trying to fight. He just trying to standing. fight the man and Hitman is still not checking the right corner as Murdoch gets taken down. But uh, Hitman has to save here. He, he trying to go for this is not the best, wisest decision. But uh, Elax tries to go and he, he takes him down. That's the eleventh round for Team Zeg FA. Two rounds away from uh, getting into that from closing this map out. A reminder again for those of you who are watching or are joining us for the Logitech Player Win Series Season 4, the Valorant Quarterly Tournament Division B matches, boasting of a prize pool of 130,000 across Division A and B. So a lot of money on offer from Logitech here. 11 to 7 in favor of Zeg FE. Launching smoke. Can be the sky smokes based up in a main again. Look at this uh, nade the pinch shells placement by uh, he 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 has the pain shells right at the sky smoke so that you know like, it's almost like an incendiary inside the sky smoke because like you cannot see it coming. Assassin, too, they're making a lot of noise up in B main, they're trying to push rotations into the B site, you know, B, because I mean, look at the spike. This look if you look at the minimap, the spike is all the way in uh sewers. They're trying to push all the rotations into it, trying to fake it out and try to get uh, so the spike is actually making its way. The rolling thunder has been used, interestingly. Uh, in mid, but doesn't get anything as Seg is detective just walks up ropes and gets the kill. Fluff says he's gonna get the kill on the keyboard hero. Is GT here with a nice headshot on with the sentinels of light and um, Murdoch. Murdoch gets taken down by Tinky as it's down to the one play of this. This has been top tracking in this game, but um, it seems as if though this is a little too uh, a little too much of an ask, even for this day. And he sees the gun barrel, and that's gonna be the round taken. That's gonna be 12 rounds. Match point here for Zeg FE. Match point. That's uh, three kills, three headshots by T. Uh, the two duelists on the side of uh, Zeg FE has been doing wonders. Uh, sitting at 21 kills and 20 kills. Uh, Miss Detective and T. He both uh, just destroying on attack and uh, defense, both, especially with the utility from T. He during defense, right? And uh, Dishti has been trying uh, his best to carry United Noobs, but uh, haven't been uh, getting the support required. He has been uh, evening those gun duels, but uh, just uh, feeling a little bit left behind at this point. They really need to uh, win uh, five rounds in a row now to uh, force overtime. Flash is going to be there. They're going to be rushing into sight here. I mean, I'm, uh, I don't realize why they didn't do this earlier. They just got into sight. Scott free. And look at that. Retire. He actually has an old I didn't even notice, but he has an old but he gets taken down with respect. The roombot room actually gets information. Room of, uh, room I know exactly. Yeah. A little bit of a. Um, What's that? What's a show where you have like uh, two robots fighting each other? Battle bots? Battle bots, yeah. The battle, the battle, yeah. Whatever that is, it's like mini real steel game. Yeah. <laughs> Fire! He oh, gets taken out. They have a really good chance here. Yeah. No, as I say that. The resurrection comes on to Mistective. This could be huge. The defender lockdown is used as well. The showstopper gets a kill, and it's not a testy. But this cannot do it. Mr. Detective gets the kill, and that's gonna be the game. That's gonna be the game. Defenders oh, win. Zeg FE as they close out split. Yes, 30 to 7. They close it out in fashion using the ultimates to maximum advantage again. Emphasis. Yeah. 
on how good the utility usage was on their defensive sides. I mean, they played around the brimstone. I mean, I was questioning the brimstone usage, but they re- that they used brimstone to control that A ramps and A main position so well that, especially on defense, that really worked out so well for them. Yeah, and top fragging is going to be uh, Tihi and Miss Detective, both from Zeg FP, 21 and 22 kills each. Uh, really good average combat score. I think, uh, they, like you said, I think their defensive uh, play was uh, extremely good. Uh, they managed to hold down sites with utility, especially on uh, uh, Tihi and uh, I think it was uh, Hima, right? On the Brimstone, I think uh, their combination at A site uh, did uh, quite a bit of pushes uh, running into uh, uh, when they were on the defensive side. And they will be moving forward in the bracket in this Logitech play to win series. Very well played to them. And uh, I mean, tough luck for United Noobs. Uh, hopefully, uh, they give a real, did give a really good fight. It looked like they were making quite a big comeback. Uh, but uh, losing out on that mid battle, they, they I think they started contesting mid a little bit too late, and then they won a couple of rounds after contesting mid. Yeah. And uh, I think uh, Team Z caught on to it a little bit uh, later on, and they were not able to uh, close it out afterwards. But having said that, very well played to both teams. And uh, we do have another game coming to you live at 10 p.m. Do not forget to join for that. But uh, until then, it's going to be me, Tara, and my board signing off. Catch you guys again at 10 p.m. with Logitech Play to Win Series Season 4.